Good morning, everybody, and this is your Bitcoin technical analysis for this morning. So we're still very much in this uh, channel. You can see we sort of testing the bottom of the channel, but the last couple of days you can see it's been up and down, up and down. So uh, we are ranging at the moment, and uh, you can see we did have a little bit of a, a range on Friday that we spoke about. I think at the bigger, bigger picture at the moment is more than likely. Something like that right now, and uh, we have some levels that need to be tested. So, if I just line that up there, let's just get rid of this. As you can see, we've broken through that. We haven't tested this bottom end here, which is 47.435. We were hovering below it, got above it, and uh, now we're looking for a move back down there. If we can hold that. I still think we have an opportunity to the upside, but just bear one thing in mind, the longer we test a the bottom of a channel like this, um, the higher the probability that it eventually just rolls through. So um, pay attention to that. The levels to the downside still, we need to kind of be tested in actual fact. There is a level down here at 41,500, which was never tested. So um, if it does break through this uh, channel, that's the area that I would expect it to test. So still wait and see for me. Um, a little bit of confusion right now. If we just drop down to the hour, you'll see how confused it was. Uh, so this was Thursday and Friday, and then eventually breaking up. And at the moment, we are dropping to the downside. So what may be what may happen is we may find some support here. And that would be an interesting one, 47.664, because that's just on the moving averages. We have a moving average crossover. Oscillators should be in a position, um, I won't say they'd group to the bottom, but I think they'll be in a, a better position than all group to the upside. So probably in the middle here, all the fast, the, uh, fast moving oscillator will be down the bottom and the slower one will be close to the top, which is going to give us a potential crossover as well. So wait and see, uh, no real structure at the moment. Those are the, the levels we need to pay attention to. Um, break above 49,200 is going to start opening up 52, uh, 5,500. But at the moment, I have a feeling we're coming back to test some structure here. And that's between 47,664 and 47,435. If we drop below that, then expect a, a potential break of this channel. But then I'd want to see a break and a retest of it before looking for any form of short scalps. Anyway, that's it for me. Hope it helps. And uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.